Hello, today's daily Bible study comes from the book of Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21, and that will complete chapter 3, and it reads as follows. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. So Paul is finishing up talking to Philippians about following their example. And he tells them, you keep, they keep concentrating on this world, but our true citizenship is in heaven. That's where it is. And we wait eagerly. We want the Lord to come back. It tells you right there, and we eagerly await a Savior, and where is the Savior coming from? There, which is glory, heaven. And then he tells you who the Savior is. It's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. See, we have treasures, but they ain't on this earth, and we have a home in heaven. But while we're here, we should still be acting like we are citizens in heaven. Just because we here doesn't mean that we forget that we belong to the Lord and that our home is in heaven. And just as they eagerly await for everything else, we are even waiting for the Lord that much more. We want to get through with this suffering. We want to get through with death. We want to get through with pain and anger. Excuse me. We want to get through with all these things because our true citizenship, because we just foreigners, visitors here, our true citizenship is in heaven. And we waiting on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And not only are we waiting on him, but he's going to do something to us. Because it says he will transform this body to be like his glorious body. There's nothing on earth. There's no one on earth. Excuse me. That can do this. See, Jesus came back with power. And all the power. And according to the working by which he is even able to able to even subdue all things to himself. You know that remember that song, I got the power? That's God's song. He has all the power. He is even able to up, subdue things himself. And that means the resurrection of these bodies. Just like his body was resurrected and changed into a glorified body, so shall we be. Jesus will handle this. And we are anxiously waiting to be changed and become citizens of heaven. But while we are here, walk and remember that we are still citizens of heaven. We are just in a visiting state right now. Amen.